Hey everyone, this is Kinda Gamer here, and I'm back once again with another PS1 demo. Let's play PS1 UK Demo 49. Now, I haven't played a PS1 demo in a long time. It feels like I've it's been such a long time since I've actually recorded one of these. But it's good to be back going down memory lane once again with these demos. I'm sure you will be happy as well. So anyway, what have we got on this disc? Oh, it's a new title screen, all yellow. So we've got Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Let me just turn that down a bit. There we go. It's a bit better. Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Evil Zone. Rat Attack. Speed Freaks. Oh yeah, that, that was on the video from the last demo disc that I did. So I'm looking forward to trying this out and seeing what it's like. Tekken 3 Platinum. That's pretty good. Tony Hawk skateboarding, oh, I'm probably not going to do very well on that. I'm not really into skateboarding games, to be honest. I'm Jammer Lammy, that's a kind of... I would say a spin-off to Parappa the Rapper, I think. Not a direct sequel. Net Yarrows, I think that's the games, Net Yarrows games. This is football video. And that's pretty much it, so let's start with Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. That's a pretty good way to start off this demo, I think. I mean, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. I mean, I remember playing some Looney Tunes video games before, but they were really only for Game Boy Color, I think. Like, what were some of the games I played? Crazy Castle 3 and 4, I think. Those were a couple of games I played for Game Boy Color, I think. Oh, I remember the Game Boy Color. This was, like, way before the Nintendo DS or 3DS, the consoles nowadays. Ah, uh, that's a classic Looney Tunes right there. The Stone Age. Now, we're just reading this description here. Oh, fact, actually, wait. What's to move? Oh, I can lift at the... Okay. A wee carrot to tempt you in, into the timeless world of that wabbit. Yeah. Okay, then, so I can move with the directional buttons and the... The analog stick as well. Can I double jump? No. It seems that rocks can be moved. Okay, I think. How do I turn the camera around? How do you move the rocks? Now, that's the tip tool. Triangles like to bring the camera around. Oh, R wants to move the rock, right? Okay. Okay, I think I can jump on this rock, can't I? Yeah, get the golden carrot. Is there anything else to collect while I'm here? Oh, there's another carrot. Got to get those carrots so you can see in the dark. Well, I mean, it's dark right now and I've got the light on, so I mean, that really doesn't count. That kind of contradicts that, or what I just said. Okay, I've got to wait for this dinosaur to poke his head up. There we are. Oh, that was close. Alright. Okay, come on. Oh! Oi! Okay. Oh, what the heck? Come on. Go down. Oh, okay, just get some of these carrots and restore my health. Okay, in fact, okay, I think I can jump on them. Right, there we are. Okay, that's how you, that's how you get rid of them. Okay. Now I can get a golden carrot. Oh yeah, and there was an anvil that dropped there. Classic Looney Tunes. Anvils dropping out of nowhere. I remember watching the Looney Tunes cartoons when I was younger. I mean, they're, they're still classic cartoons to this day, I think. I'll go watch out for those falling rocks. What's to go underneath? Okay, what what is to go underneath? Oh, hey, that's a helicopter. Kind of like Rayman. Okay, that's to roll. What's to go underneath that? See, so one thing I don't like about the demos is that they don't explain the controls to you. Okay, how do I do this? I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, it's really easy, go to press this button, but... Ah, there we are. Okay, I don't know what I pressed there. It was like a combination of buttons there, but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out properly the next time I approach one of the... one of those uh, rabbit holes again. 
Oh, there's a clock. I quite like that laugh he does. Oh, there we are. Well, right, good, good. I was about to say, if I had that cactus there, that, that causes my health to go down, so glad I didn't hit that. It seems like I'm moving quite slow here. Oh, there's a checkpoint. It seemed like the screen kind of went blue for a second. Don't know if any of you saw that, but... Oh, there's another enemy. Ah! Okay, jump on you. Okay. Okay, I'll get you off. There we are. Okay, get this carrot that's stuck on the ground. I'm not sure if any of you have played this game before, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. I mean, I've never played it myself. I've never played any Looney Tunes games on the home consoles before. I see that Anvil distracted them there, which is good. Thank you, Anvil. You certainly served me well. Okay, what now? Oh, he'll be tipping his head that way. Oh, no! Okay, that was a bit... That was quite bad right there. I died, but... That was due to my lack of timing there. It's all about the timing. And it's going to be like that in Num Jammer Lamy as well, since that's kind of like a spin off to Parappa the Rapper. Okay, when you lean your head forward, there we are. Thank you. Okay, and I think. Is this one supposed to go? Okay, let's see if I can turn the camera. There we are. Alright, wait for this dinosaur effect. Oh, yeah, there's another log to jump on. I think that's a Diplodocus, I think. I, I'm not sure actually if that's a Diplodocus. It looks like it is. Oh crap! This is not good. I think I'm about to run out of lives. That's a good way to actually speedrun, like uh, the speedrun this game, just roll forward. I think. Okay, lean your head forward. Thank you. And jump again. I may actually die on this game because of how bad I've actually got at this. Oh wait, okay. The camera's not turning properly. That's my main issue with this game as well as the camera. Okay. There we go, right. Okay, race to another checkpoint. Okay, the screen briefly turns blue before you reach a checkpoint, right. Okay, so where's the life counter then? Right, how would I go about doing this? Okay, I can't grab onto that ledge, that's... Ah, okay, jump on your head. Oh, great. That's Elmer Fudd there, in case you couldn't tell. I know he'll be wanting, he'll be wanting to hunt me down, but that's not going to happen. Oh crap! Do I just keep jumping on his head until he goes? Okay, it doesn't seem like that does anything, okay. Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Oh wait! See, I really wish you could double jump in this game, but you can't. That's... Ah! Okay. Okay, I don't know where to go here. Oh, great. And I'm about to die as well, which is not good. Oh wait, I think I know what to do. I've got to jump on his head in order to get up there. There we go, right, now I've eventually I figured it out. I have to say that laugh he does is kind of creepy as well, like uh, Bugs' laugh there. Okay, right, wait. The first dinosaur to lower his head. Right, oh no! Oh, lack of timing again. Okay. At least now I know what I'm doing when it comes to jumping up on this ledge. Come on, Elmer. I'm over here. Oi, where are you? Come on. Spot me. Thank you. And right, then jump on your head. 
There we go. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. This is not going so well. Right, there we are. Okay, let's try and get the timing right this time. Okay, whenever you're ready, I'll lean your head forward. Nah, he's probably gonna lean his head forward. About, ah, there we are. Oh, come on! I'm not getting this right. I'm not getting this timing right. Alright, where's Alma Fudd? Where is he? Oh, there he is. He's right there. He's right in front of my nose. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Oh, great. Yeah, timing again. Okay, let's just wait for the Stipulodokus to put his head forward. There we are. Oh, come on. <sighs> yeah, I'm doing really badly here. Okay, come on, Elmer. Where is he? Okay. Yeah, and you might hear that outside. There's fireworks going on outside. Uh, still, they're uh, still going on at this time of week. And now in November, you know what I mean when the fireworks go off. Right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Great. Yep. That's great indeed, bugs. Right. Eight golden carrots. Okay, so I did quite badly on that first section. At least you don't have a a limited al amount of lives. Okay, there's a second section, I think. Okay, wait for this. There we are. Okay, forget that golden carrot. Don't really need it. Well, there's another one right there. Can I reach in there? No. Oh, I think I've got to go around to the other side to collect it. I think I see what I need to do. I just go up here. Oh, anvil. Oh. Oh, great. Yeah, that caused me to fall into the cacti. Or cactus. Okay. Come on. I want to kick you. Kick you off. There we are. Okay, there's the next clock. Great. Yep, it's great indeed, bugs. Definitely. I thought the clocks represented lives when I first played this, but... Or when I first saw this, actually. It turns out it doesn't really represent, like, lives at all. Okay, so now what? Okay, I don't like facing that way because I can never know what I can run into. Okay, I'm not sure where to go now. I think I know you got to go up there, but how? Oh, great! Hey! Note to self: Do not walk into cactus while exploring. Okay. Oh, 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 right. Okay. Oh, I know I f fell there, but I didn't, so that's good. Oh, this is where I got to go. Right. I see now. Is this a tip board or something? Be very quiet. Sleeping pterodactyl sneak. Alright, how do I... Oh yeah! Wait. What was the sneak again? It was... Oh no, wait, whoa. I wanted to see what the button was for sneaking again. Circle, right. This is what I've got to do. Just hold circle to sneak. Because if I alert the pterodactyl, I think... Uh, I don't know what happens actually if I do alert the pterodactyl. <laughs> okay, there we go. As long as I'm very quiet, then the pterodactyl will not, or should I say, very, very quiet. I'm not hunt hunting wabbits, I'm avoiding a pterodactyl. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, I think it's best to tiptoe in this section only. Great. Okay, now what? 
Oh wait, I think I've got to go to that portal, I think, that's right there. Without waking up the pterodactyl. It's like Bugs is tiptoeing to the music, it looks like it anyway, even though I've not got the sound on on my TV. I mean, uh, I don't really have it on. Hey, do you see the exit? Jump and dive into it to return to the time machine. Okay, how do I... This is another issue as well. Ah, oh, there we are. Is that the end or is there more still to go? Oh, there's another segment. Oh, I think this is a boss battle with Elmer Fudd. Ah, oh, classic line by Elmer Fudd. Very classic. You <laughs> ah, classic Looney Tunes humor right there. <laughs> oh great, uh, I think I've got to... Okay, how do I get out from under here? Oh great, he, just, he spawned me. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Oh great. Right, how do I... I know that's R1 and X. Okay, what the buttons do I press though to get out of this? Okay, I have no idea literally how to do this. Okay, right, let me get some carrots to just restore my health. Okay, I know he's chasing me around, but I need to get some health back. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, wait a minute. Now I think I know. There we go. Okay, so I basically got to go to another hole and jump out of there. Right. Okay. I don't know how he always falls for this, but <laughs> he's just not that smart. Okay, how on earth did he miss me there? Okay, get over there quick and kick his kick his ass. There we are. And get that last clock. I think that's the end of the level, I think. Okay, what now then? Oh yeah, there's the exit portal. Right, so let's jump in there and end the demo. Oh, that was a pretty good game. That was a pretty good game to start off with, although the controls could be slightly better in my opinion. But again though, it's just a demo, so I'm not really going to be that harsh on it. But, oh, it's coming in, well, it came in June 99, 1999. Oh, and there's all the Elmer Fudd, Witch Hazel, Yosemite Sam, Rocky. Muggsy, Marvin the Martian. I'm surprised that... Unless if... Okay, what's happening here? Oh, okay. Right, start and select. Okay, I thought it would end on this own, but I've got to press start and select to end it. Okay. So... That was a pretty good game to start off with. I'm surprised that Daffy Duck and Taz weren't mentioned. Because I know that they're major Looney Tunes characters. Alright, Evil Zone. And please reset your console. That's the first d demo that's actually stated that on here. Right, so what's this one? Scrapping with naughty types. Wait, what was it? Scrapping with naughty types your bag? Here's a surreal satchel full. Okay, I'm not sure what this is all about. Was that Ukes? I think that's the company that made the early, or that was involved in making the old WWE games. Titus Presents, Blue Sky Software. Oh, was that the crystal meth that Walter Waya made? No. <laughs> Alright then, story or a oh, women of what's happened. Oh, I think it's frozen. Okay. I like to reset, it froze. I'll try again, and if it doesn't work, then I'll just skip this demo. Seems like that the Blue Sky Software, the, the crystal meth, kind of made the game froze. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I'm talking about Breaking Bad quite a lot. I mean, I'm not sure if any of you who are watching this have actually seen Breaking Bad before. If you have seen it, then 
In fact, I've got a proper title here. Like, 